Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Hesha Suraj and you are watching Code Freaks. In this video, I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So this is the task that we are going to do in this video. So the task is mainly to find the reverse of the words in a string. So in previous video, we find the count of the words which are present in a string. So in this video, we are going to find the reverse of the word in the string. So let's find it out. So I am giving a particular input as welcome to my Java programming. So uh, the output I, I want to get is programming Java my to who and welcome. So it will be printed in the form of a reverse manner. So let's do it in the coding session. So how uh, it's very very simple for Java uh, medium level programmers and Java code core level programmers and it sometimes it will be very difficult for the java beginners so they will not be finding any shortcut rules for finding it so we will be using a shortcut route for finding it we will be finishing it within two or three lines i guess so so let's find it out in the coding session so guys finally i am going to begin the coding session so in this coding session i am using java coding language as my programming language so i am using visual studio code as my code editor so let us begin the coding session so i think that everybody understood what task that i am going to do so let me create a new class name so i created a new class name called word dot java so i created a new file name called word dot java so in that i am going to initialize a main method and i am going to put scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner okay then system dot in okay so let me import this scanner class okay so i imported it and then i am going to oh man, wait. so then i am going to buy a string input from the user so i am writing a string str equal to sc dot next line and then i am uh, converting that particular string in the form of an array so as I discussed in the previous session that uh, while converting this string into an array str dot split of sorry double quotes okay and semicolon okay then I am going to put a for loop and inside that for loop for int i equal to array dot length so we are going to firstly uh, reverse the part particular uh, reverse the particular word so we are going to first we want to print the array dot length the last word should be coming at the first so we are going to print the last word at first so then we are going to i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus okay so the we are going to reverse it and i am putting an if condition like if arr of i is not equal to double quotes then it should print the oh sorry it should print the value like uh, arr of i plus okay so this is the coding guys so through this i can be able to uh, reverse my words so let me share an ex small explanation let me uh, bring a small explanation like Consider that I am giving a particular input called welcome to my java programming ok welcome to my java programming so in this uh, a string array dot str dot split it will be splitting this uh, particular string this string into four e uh, five equal parts like welcome will be separate to will be separate my will be separate java will be separate and programming will be in a separate so in that for loop inside that for loop it will be taking firstly i as programming so i will be programming uh, i equal to array dot length minus one array dot length means so the total length of this particular uh, string particular array this one two three four five the total length is five so the fifth uh, line is programming so array of dot length minus one it is uh, greater than or equal to zero array dot length minus 1 so uh, array dot length is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 so it will be taking firstly the programming and i greater than or equal to 0 the condition will be satisfied and it then it will be coming into this if condition if array of i that means the array of this particular thing it is not equal to space it will be not equal to this space 
then I will be printing that uh, program at the first time then the loop will be starting to next uh, next I will be coming to 3 array dot length will be 4 and 4 minus 1 will be 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 0 and then I am inside uh, in, in this condition inside that condition I will be putting array of 3 not equal to 0 array of 3 is Java so it is not equal to this uh, double quotes uh, so then it will be then uh, executing the condition will be satisfying and it will be executing array of 3 array of 3 will be Java so then it will be printed the output will be printed as programming Java my to welcome so this is a, a very very easy question and this is also a rare question which uh, I think it does not ask in any IPA exam so it can be able to ask in upcoming IPA exam I guess so so kindly look through it and kindly prepare for it I, I surely I am saying guys it is very very simple so many people are thinking that it is very very tough so it is very very simple the 15 mark is very very simple so guys uh, let me enter into the output section so guys we have been then moving into the output session so I think guys uh, you understood the particular code that I have written before so it is very very simple so I am going to print the output so our task is to print the uh, reverse of the particular words in a particular string so I am going to uh, print that particular output so that I can print I want to give a particular input like input string I like welcome to sorry java programming programming so guys this is my string input so i want to get the output as programming java to welcome so i don't know whether i will be getting so let me check it out yeah i got the output so i got the output as programming java to welcome so this is uh, the task for this is Printing the reverse of the particular string. So we are complete. Uh, we are successfully completed it So guys, I am keep on telling you that keep practicing daily and daily with a new new task So if you practice daily and daily you will be it will be a very very simple for you to crack any type of 15 mark question so keep on practicing and also uh, uh, I am t uh, telling this that uh, also always use the online compiler like this online GDB compiler for uh, doing the practice why I am saying because in TCS IPA exam you will be facing some troubles uh, like uh, it cannot be uh, the suggestions cannot be shown or suggestion or the control F9 F9 F7 control procedure which means the undo is not working so like that uh, you can be able to practice uh, in online compiler daily and daily so it will be very very useful in this uh, TCS online no, TCS compiler so guys keep on practicing in practice will be making you a better programmer so guys we will be meeting you in the next session with a new task so guys keep practice and take care bye bye guys thank you